Hey everyone, Lethco here from RetroReviewRevolution.com. Uh, it's been a little bit since my last video. Been a very busy and hectic two or three months. Had some vehicles break down, but uh, we're slowly getting back going again. Uh, today we are checking out CGE Adventures for the Atari 2600. This is a new Atari game brought to you from the Retro Gaming Roundup crew. Uh, just got my copy in the mail today, so let's check it out. Uh, I'll try to ignore the glare off my camera. There's not enough light in here. <laughs> uh, first thing to notice, uh, chipped in a hard plastic box, and it's really well made. Uh, it's got the classic Atari logo on it, and of course the Retro Gaming Roundup logo up on top there. There's a back where... Uh, it tells us that CGE is in full flow and the podcast hosts are in town. Take control of the Duff CD Thief, uh, which if you guys are new to this, is a running gag on uh, the Retro Gaming Roundup podcast, which I highly recommend you guys listen to. But you take control and play as him, and then while the podcast backers are turned, or they're, while their backs are turned, proper English, <laughs> uh, you try to steal their CDs from their booth at the uh, Classic Gaming Expo. So it's shipped in a nice hard case. Let's pop it open real quick. And holy crap, there's a bunch of goodies in here. <laughs> uh, this is just a standard edition. The right... There's also a limited edition floating around there that comes with a bonus CD, but just a standard edition comes with a bunch of stuff. Uh, let's start with a printed manual. <laughs> uh, really cool that a game that's more or less uh, Atari 2600, very small scale production run, comes with a nice full color printed manual. Then you get a uh, VIP badge, which is a cool little feely for the game. This is actually one of the pickups in the game itself. The game itself, a uh, classic style Atari 2600 cartridge, feels lighter than the standard Atari cart. I don't know if it's just because it's a repro or what. This, it feels a little bit lighter. And then finally, you can't have a Vegas game without a set of dice. Mine are purple, which is my wife's favorite color. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. I would show some gameplay of this, but I'll tell you what. There is a gentleman on YouTube that will do a much better job of shooting the gameplay than I ever could. Um, his name is Focus RS. He uh, does the Arcade USA show. I'll be providing a link to uh, his stuff in the uh, comments section. Uh, but you've got to check out his gameplay videos. Uh, he does an awesome job showing off the uh, gameplay of this game. Um, long story short, the game plays a lot like Adventure on the Atari 2600. Just almost like a slightly deeper version of Adventure. Uh, the maze is a lot more complicated. It took me a little bit to actually figure out my way through the first time around. There's uh, multiple difficulty levels, of course. And the game's just great fun to play, and it's really challenging as well. Um, I highly recommend you pick it up. I believe you can still order the standard edition like what I have here through GameGavel.com. Just search for CGE Adventures. But, uh, yeah, if you're looking for uh, some new Atari 2600 games, this is probably one of the uh, best ones in the market. And uh, if you do pick it up, the first thing to check out is the title screen of it, because it's a feat of Atari 2600 programming if they manage to pull off what that title screen does. But uh, this is going to be Lefko signing off, and uh, we will see you next time.